on his home soil. Um, real quick, Guilherme Tomega uh, comes from uh, Copacabana. He grew up riding Postal Cinco. Postal Cinco, one Postal of your home Cinco. spots. Yes. Uh, and w one of my favorite waves in Brazil. It's actually oh, my thanks. home spot living down here. Uh, explain to people the wave of Postal Cinco, where you guys come from. We saw a bunch of the trialists also come from there. Yeah, yeah. Copacabana is a sick wave, too. Uh, we have small, medium size, and bigger size in, at that beach. So... And we grew up watching Guilherme and Jefferson, Leonardo Gomes, guys from Copacabana. So we have good generations in this spot. So a lot of history, Copacabana. You know, and Guilherme is inspiration for us. And I hope he win this comp and bring Copacabana to the top again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and you can see the scores drop. Tomega with a 4.5, a moderate score. He'll probably want to replace that. Right now, we're going to throw down to the beach to Alex Leon. Where you at, brother? Action Jackson, thank you, buddy. Down here with Winnie. Winnie, mate, you're getting closer and closer to this world title as all these heats go on. Yeah, it's, um, that one I really felt the stress. Some heats you go into and you think you've got a good chance of winning them. And at the start I did, but during it it was just... I didn't think I had it. <laughs> yes, very stressful. I could see it in your face. And um, you were swapping leaders there. Yuri took over, taking the lead. Then you took over. Then Yuri got it back. And then you got it back at the end. And Yuri's last wave just wasn't the best score he could get. So you end up coming out on top. And um, just tell us how you, you're mentally preparing for all these heats. Because you, you're leading the tour at the moment. Yeah, I came into this event with a, an all right lead, but I was just trying to just take it back and just think I don't have any results. I just need results to stay in the, the top 16. So um, it's just been, yeah, it's been pretty stressful over here. Just trying not to think about it. But then um, the boys are hot on my tail, Benny and Mitch. They just keep pushing. So <laughs> it's pretty funny. Got a heat against Ben next and we share a room together over here. So it's going to be full grudge match. Oh, is there any sunscreen getting wiped on the boards? I think there will be. I've got some soap in my bag for his. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Winnie. Well, um, mate, congratulations. You've now got a minimum third in this event. Let's see if you can take it all the way like you did in Chile. Yeah, I'd like to back it up with another win. But um, yeah, as I said, I've got Benny to deal with and then um, whoever comes from the other side. So it's going to be tough. But um, I just want to say hello to my wife and kids. They're probably watching. All oh, the girls are at school. so And my family at home and friends watching. You, Mate, a few more wins like this. You'll be able to send the girls to uh, private school. That was my joke, Leo. <laughs> yeah, maybe for a couple of weeks. <laughs> All right, that was Winnie. He's made it through to the semis. He's taken on Ben Play's roommate um, in the next semi final. So, back to you, Action Jackson. <laughs> Dave Winchester, again, the winner of that last heat. He's going to square off against Ben Player in semi-final number one, an all-Australian affair in semi number one. Meanwhile, out in the water, quarter number three, up and riding, Guilherme Tomega. Tomega again. A ni nice ARS, nice bottom turn. Maybe you're going to make another roll in the end. Yes, another roll in the end. Yeah, second wave of Guilherme. He's putting pressure on Eder, but now Eder. We have a nice bottom turn. A nice open wave like Guilherme, but he didn't. Pull off. Edder with the roll, but unable to hold on to his board, getting bounced in the white water. There's a lot of water moving around on the inside there. Look, Guilherme, replay. Nice bottom turn into the barrel. ARS. Yeah. Nice smooth maneuver. And complete with a nice roll through the leap again in the end of the wave. Yeah. Nice backup wave. I think the best wave of Guilherme now. So far, definitely looks like the looks best like. wave. It looks like Guilherme is going to score a 6.45 on that. Uh, Ider score has not dropped yet, but again, an incomplete maneuver. Here's the replay. The Run replay. us through this, Armando. Yeah, he tried to do something. He was waiting for patiently for a wave, but unfortunately, the wave closed to him. It looked like he came down a little bit on his side on the rail. And uh, when that happens, it's almost like a dead stop. The white water is going to hit yeah. you, knock you off the board. You're going to get worked a little bit. But uh, there you can see 1.63 for Edder on his first wave. Guilherme Tomega with a 6.45 and a 4.5. 20 minutes remaining in this 30-minute heat. Again, 12-wave maximum. Top two waves count. 
towards your final score. And uh, Eder on the board, but currently needs a 9.32. He doesn't have a secondary score, and that first score he's going to want to get rid of as soon as possible. Yeah, for sure. Tamega always doing his game, putting pressure on the... Tamega, All right. Yeah, Tamega always doing his game, putting pressure on the beginning of the, co the, the heat. But actually, actually, Eder is a, such a good competitor. He's a Brazilian champion, so he's going to do some serious moves in a couple of minutes, I hope. Yeah, both of these guys out in the water right now, seasoned competitors, uh, very much able to keep a level head, uh, maintain composure, and even if they're in a little bit of a hole, plenty of time to work back from. Um, I'm sure we're going to see some things from Eder before all is said and done because he's a fierce competitor. Uh, it, it seems that the Brazilian bodyboarding culture... Uh, it's almost in the blood, the strong competitive nature for Brazilians down here. Uh, it's really impressive to see. Uh, it's really intense to go up against sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Like I said before, we grow up watching one of the best competitors of the world. So, um, All right, up and riding, Eder Luciano, as speak of the devil. There he pulls into a little cover-up, comes out, throws into a forward spin, looking to connect into this inside section. There you can see him kicking, looking for the oncoming section. Throws the roll for good measure. So a nice combination there. Barrel ride, spin to roll. Uh, that'll definitely help his cause. That'll be his top scoring wave so far in this heat. And uh, then he'll just be looking to replace that 1.63. And Guilherme Tamega up Tamega and Tamega again. Another nice ARS. Smooth, complete, and a nice <laughs> combo of rollers. That's what I'm talking about. Guilherme always put pressure. He never waits. He just run, run into the end of the heat, to the last sec of the heat, always changing, trying to, to change his scores better. And here we have the replay it's for the first Eder wave, Luciano. First wave of Eder. Actually second, but the first good one to try to... Put some things together and try to beat Guilherme because now. All right, so a solid wave exchange there from yeah. the two Brazilians out in the water. Eder with a barrel to spin to roll combination and Tamega answering back with an air roll spin to back to back rolls. Here we have the replay Look of Guilherme this, Tamega. Steve. Look at this, Steve. What a bottom turn. Clean move. Show the bottom of the, 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 the board for the, the judge. A clean move. Rollo to the end, roll in the end. Very good way for Guilherme. Guilherme Tomega showing why he is the six-time world champion out there on that one. Able to tie back-to-back -back maneuvers together flawlessly. Um, very impressive to watch him ride. Whether it's big waves, you know, whether it's at Pipeline, Arica, Mexico, or smaller conditions here. Um, Guilherme Tomega able to charge it. And I do believe that's his wife, Danny, standing on the beach yeah, watching yes, the competition. Yes, Danny Tamega and Marcelo Pedro, the Brazilian wave big hider, charger, in the Guilherme Tamega generation. So that's the guys I'm talking about. Our blood, because we grow up watching guys like him, like Guilherme, Fabio Aquino. So that's why we have this in the blood, the competition thing. I saw a comment on one of the photos from the event that Guilherme Tomega left from one of the guys from Postal Cinco, and he was very excited that guys were doing well. He had actually posted, Sangua de Meo Sangua, uh, blood of my blood. Blood of my blood, uh, yes. Um, <laughs> there's a very strong community in Brazil, not only in po at Postal Cinco, but Santa Catarina, Esperto Santo. Um, is there a big rivalry between the bodyboarding communities down here? Do you guys, like go after each other, pushing each other to ride harder? For sure. For sure. We're always pushing each other to get better and doing well in the comps, helping each other in the, on the tour. It's not that easy to go. So we are, we are a family, you know. We are a family and go with guys like Guilherme to watch. I hope he's still surfing to 55 years old, 60. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why we are here to compete and promote bodyboarding in the world, so that's the thing. All right, and we're here to compete. Right now, we're here to pay some bills, so we'll be back right after this. All 
All right, and you know what? We're going to hold off on the commercial. We've got some action out in the water. Looks like some sets rolling through. Tomega taking a look at this one, paddling over, getting into position. And uh, he's about to scrap into this one. He's going to the left. At Adder to the right. Seek ARS for Adder. If, if he can pull it off. Um, no. No, unable to complete the maneuver there. Taquachara is so strong. Sorry. Taquachara is so strong wave. Powerful. Sometimes to land is not that easy. And here's the replay of what Tomega had um, on that split peak wave. Driving down the line on the left. Eyes up the section. Airs it out. Nice, clean invert. And that's going to be all she wrote. So Tomega is going to get the better of the exchange on that one. But uh, as you were saying, lots of power. Even in the smaller conditions, Manny and I have touched on it. Um, lots of current on the inside. Very shallow. Uh, there's some side waves. You know, a lot to contend with with these beach break conditions. It, it can make life a little challenging out there. Boy, that's quite shot, huh? I'll check the replay again. Adder. It's a nice set wave. He launched a big hair has. Oh, if he landed, it was a, for sure a good score. But Unfortunately, never unable to keep hold of his board. There you can see him pop up from the white water. And, uh, this wave, you can see the, f the power of the wave. Yes. Adder always landing his ARS. It's totally... Un 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 I forgot the word in English, sorry. <laughs> Uh, Unable to complete the maneuver yeah. on that one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Uncharacteristic. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Manny, Manny Vargas popping in to... Uh, Thanks, Manny. <laughs> fill in the word we we're trying to pull out of the air. So uh, there you can see... So uh, Edder paddling back out. Yeah. Guilherme Tomega currently with a 6.98 and a 6.45 out in the water. He is in the lead. Edder Luciano in need of an 8.05 at this point to take that top spot and advance out of this heat. We've got 13 minutes counting down, and uh, it's currently Guilherme Tomega in the lead over fellow Brazilian Edder Luciano. Um, yes. Edder coming to us from Itapima in Santa Catarina in the south region of Brazil. I've never actually been down there. Uh, yeah, Santa Catarina is an amazing place. I have many friends there, so... So hello to Luis Villar, my <laughs> friend from Santa Catarina, and his family. Yeah, Santa Catarina is a beautiful place to, to go, to hang out with friends, such a good wave too. So I love that place. You know what? Some place I definitely want to check out, but right now we're going to check out this ad. We'll be right back. Okay. All right, and we're back, and here you can see Edder Luciano getting ready to kick into this one, and I guess it wasn't lining up the way he wanted. It looks like that one was just going to close out, so he turns around, and uh, he'll go look for another one. Um, yeah, I hope he needs a high score, an eight point, so he needs to wait 11 minutes with the second priority, so with Guilherme next to him, it's going to be tough, but Edder, I think Edder can, can do it. There you can see Mitch Rollins in the red jersey getting ready to hit the water for quarterfinal number four. Uh, he's going to go up against Jose Otavio, the Brazilian main event wild card, one of the local guys. This guy knows the place very well. Big waves, small waves. He's going to be dangerous out here for Mitch Rollins. For sure, local knowledge. Look, Guilherme, Ed Luciano, no. yes, you, you're right. But for me, it's an insane re hit, one of the best quite a final hit for me to watch because their their styles are so insane. They are insane. <laughs> Mitch in Australia and Zé Otávio in Brazil, for me, one of the best bodyboard in the world, for sure. Both. Mitch has been interesting to watch in this event. He had a little bit of a slow start, finished third in his round one heat. He has won out in each and every one of his heats since then. Uh, he's definitely going to be a handful for the local Itacoacharan, uh, Jose Otavio. Yes. Uh, it's going to be a, 
another solid heat packed with action most likely. Uh, really looking forward to seeing quarterfinal number four coming up. Meanwhile, out in the water, quarterfinal number three. Just over 10 minutes remaining. Guilherme Tomega holding advantage over Ider Luciano. Eder needing an 8.05 to move ahead of Guilherme. Yeah. Zach Guilherme, you have two six, six forty five and six nine eight. Yeah, that's what I'm talking. Guilherme always in the game trying to change, exchange they the their points so to get better. So nine minutes, priority to one Guilherme. You're right. <laughs> and I believe I believe you're right. Guilherme Tomega, I believe, has priority right now. Um so it kind of forcing Eder to paddle over and kind of look for something on the inside away from Guilherme. But, uh, Everything can happen, Steve. The waves <laughs> are better today. I think double size from yesterday, maybe. Yes, while we were off camera, uh, and the waves are making note of... There you can see down the beach, guys free surfing, <laughs> some fun waves coming in. Uh, as they would say down here in Brazil in Portuguese, uh, boas ondas. Boas ondas hoje. Com certeza a galera tá... Feliz aqui na praia de Taquatiara, surfando e vendo o campeonato. Everybody is happy today to surf, the community here in Taquatiara. Good way for surfing and watch the comp. And uh, while we're on air, real quick, I have to say thank you. Uh, you've been very patient with my very bad Portuguese. <laughs> I'm slowly but surely improving, but I've still got a long way to go with my Portuguese down here. No, you're good. You're good, act. You're good action. Yeah. I speak with you Portuguese a couple of times and you're good. <laughs> you're doing well. <laughs> I, I have to say thank you to all of my friends down here in Brazil and my family that I've been living with. They've been very patient with me as I slowly but surely learn how to speak Portuguese. Um, definitely want to say big thank you to the guys from Postal Cinco and the Escola de Bodyboarding, the Copacabana. Uh, I've been learning a lot of my Portuguese on the beach directly from the guys. Um, I help them a little with their English. They help me a lot with my Portuguese. And uh, we're all moving forward learning new languages. That's the thing. Learn. Always <laughs> learning. <laughs> All right. So there you can see out in the water, eight minutes remaining. Guilherme Tomega still in the lead. No situation change at the moment. Uh, Luciano looking for a an 8.05 at the moment. So he's got to choose wisely out there. He's still got plenty of time, but uh, he can't wait too long or time's going to slip away. Yeah. And Guilherme has the priority one. So the best wave came in. Guilherme is going to take it. So you have to be smart now, Eder. <laughs> very, very smart to make control this heat. Yeah? Yes. We'll see. So, so we were talking about Santa Catarina, and you mentioned Luis Villar, um, another one of the Brazilian competitors. I saw recently he started doing some triathlons. He ran yeah, his first yeah. triathlon. He's doing well, actually. Luis, doing well. Uh, he take off a little bit from the tour, the world tour, but the Brazilian... National Tour, uh, he's doing second now, behind Leonardo Costa. So, Luis is still bodyboarding, but try it, try at least, as he likes the, the words. Oh, Guilherme Tamega now, nice open face wave, pulling the barrel. Nice little Landing. cover up there. Nice even air for Guilherme Tamega. Yeah, push to Cinco, boys. <laughs> I have to like that. <laughs> All right, That's so the, our inspiration, this guy... Almost 40 years old and still hitting the leaps, doing well in the comps. Yes, 39-year-old Guilherme Tomega. I should say 39 years young because he still charges and doesn't matter what the wave conditions. Here you see him bouncing around on the it's face. Nice sets clean. his line, pulls in, gets a nice little cover-up. The barrel spits as he comes out, finds that end section, hits a nice invert off of there. Uh, that's going to be a solid score for Guilherme Tomega. Yeah, yeah, I think he's. His, I, I think he's knowledge. gonna. I think he's gonna change his second, the backup score. I think was a very nice ride, barrel to the invert in the end. So, and we're just waiting for the scores to drop. We're hearing the beach announcer waiting for the scores to drop. 
7.45. So you were right. That becomes his best wave of the heat so far. So now Tomega has a 7.45 and a 6.98. Now Eder Luciano chasing a 9.05, almost in combination land right now. Yeah. And I combo land, not where you want to be. For those of you not familiar with being in combination situation, uh, explain it to our viewers at home watching live. Guilherme Tamega is a contest machine. You can, <laughs> he just, the, the heat starts to the end, the last second, he's going to be like this, six, seven, eight, and if you need a high score, he's going to take it. He's insane, bro. Yeah, at this point, Eder Luciano needs basically two new scores yeah. to uh, overtake Guilherme Tamega with less than five minutes remaining. Uh, Tamega starting to distance himself and take control. Again, the seasoned veteran showing what he's got. Uh, 39 years young and still going one of the most intense competitors on the world tour. Uh, <laughs> hasn't yeah. skipped a beat over the years. I mean, six-time world champ, dominated through most of the 90s and into the 2000s. And coming out here and looking very, very strong, it looks like he, uh, Tomega in, intends on continuing yeah, his yeah. march towards the final. It's a hard thing to add Luciano now, but I think he's, he can do it because Adder is so good. He can launch big ARS or two ARS in one wave. So he got the priority now. So wait, wait for the good one and launch and try to win. And here you can see Edder with... Priority, he's taking a look at that one, but going to let it go by. I don't know if he's going to lose priority for paddling to that. Maybe. But he's paddling in position for this one. The priority change, maybe. That was not good for Eder in the end of the heat, losing the priority. Here he goes, up and riding, Eder Luciano. Yeah, it's a white wave. He loses the priority. Now he have to... Yeah, nice clean ARS, but I don't know if it's going to help him to, the, to make on true. Yeah, that'll probably replace his 2.25 but uh, and help cut into Tomega's lead, but not quite what he needs at this point with time running down, a little over three minutes remaining. Here you see, driving down the line, kind of a foamy wave, smaller inside wave, he finds the section, gets the air roll spin around off the end section, but uh, I think he was looking for a little bit something more out there. Uh, I think we got Guilherme Tomega hang hangry, bro. That's why he wants to... Increase another result, a result here in Brazil. So it's hard to beat Guilherme when he's, he wake up like this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, a little while ago, we had touched upon the uh, Brazilian national tour. Luis Villar, currently second. Leonardo Costa, who did well in this event, currently ranked first. Ed Luciano, Ed Luciano the inside another wave. one up and riding. Nice air roll spin off of that inside section, and he's going to duck out. So a couple of... Uh, Moderate w scoring ways for Eder Luciano, waiting for them the scores to drop. Meanwhile, Tomega outside with priority, counting down to the two-minute mark, holding the lead pretty firmly in the lead. Uh, real quick, I want to touch on the Brazilian National Tour. Uh, where are you situated currently with the National Tour? Me? Yes. 17. 17? 17, yeah. The first, the first comp was in north of Rio. Yeah, I lose in um, one hit before the man-on-man -man hits. So, yeah, just uh, warm, warming up. All right, and for everybody at home, curious to check out the current Brazilian standings, be sure to check out cbrasb.com. Dot br. That's the Brazilian National Tour. They've got the rankings and profiles for all the top men's, women's, amateur, and uh, sub-16 divisions. Uh, definitely worth checking out to see where these guys stand on the National Tour here in Brazil. Meanwhile, that was Tomega out in the water taking a look at that one. Um, some, some good talent in the Brazilian National Tour. Um, real quick, with about a minute and a half remaining, tell me a little bit about the National Tour. The national tour, yeah, Sebrasbi, the confederation. Uh, yeah, they start working for the this year, so we just got one one event. Yeah, they it's a amazing competition. The Brazilian tour always with the best contest ever in in the whole world, the nationals tours. I had the Luciano ARS. Yeah, small wave. He needs a nine point. He needs a bigger score, actually. so Tamega with the priority one, and 45 seconds to, to go, 
And there you can tough. see the current situation out in the water. Tomega with a 14.43. Edder with a 10.08. Half a minute remaining. And it looks like Tomega is going to uh, claim this one yeah. and move on to semifinal number two. Yeah. One, one Brazilian there. Now we need Jose Otavio and Mitch Rollins to make them through. We'll see. We'll <laughs> see. So about the Brazilian too. Yeah, we have so many talents. Younger, younger guys, younger girls. Growing up, new generations, yeah, it's a, you just need to compete and put those guys on the world tour and uh, soon we possible. All right, and there you can see live, that's the conclusion yeah, of this heat. Mega. Before we step out of here, any last words, hermano? Uh, shout outs to friends, family. Meus amigos, queria mandar um beijo para minha família. Para todas as pessoas que estão assistindo aqui o 